Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In our last video, we have discussed about uh, business object introduction. So where we have seen uh, what is business object structure, what are business object behaviors, and what is business object runtime. So in this video, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, business object implementation. So basically this business object implementations will provide uh, two scenarios. One is unmanaged and unmanaged. When you are creating a new project, uh, the first steps you have to decide whether you go for unmanaged or managed. So let's talk about unmanaged uh, scenario first. The un unmanaged scenarios will be suitable for the existing projects. Okay. This, uh, what I mean existing project is, let's say you are having already a theory project. Okay, might be, might have been written in a BOF or maybe a plain app. But you would like to convert that existing project uh, with the help of a RESTful ABAP programming model. So the first thing you have to just, the first benefit is that RAP provides this unmanaged scenario with the capability of reusing your existing logic in the wrap handlers which means you let's say for example you have a, a practice for your creation of business object and you want to reuse that business object uh, practice in your uh, uh, wrap framework so you can't able to do it easily and second thing and for the unmanaged scenarios, RAP will not be handling any technical related things. What I mean by technical related things is creation of the business object, updation of the business object, deletion of the business object, or create by association, read by association, so logging. So uh, as an application developer, it's our responsibility to implement these technical components in our, um, in our logic. Of course, we might have already written all our uh, all this logic in our existing project, uh, and then now that we are going to simply reuse this. Thing. So, this is about unmanaged. Let's talk about managed. So, basically, the managed will fit for the new project. If you want to create a new project from the scratch, you can go with the managed implementation. So what are the benefits of the managed scenario for this? The RAP framework will be handling all the technical related uh, components. It is a very beautiful thing by the RAP because uh, you, you don't need to write any single statement of insert, update, delete of the database tables and even the locking also will be handled by the framework. That's really a great things with the RAP framework, right? And uh, so the main important uh, uh, point we need to notice here is in your behavior, while you are defining the behavior of operations, you have to mention your database tables for your uh, business object. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, uh, if we don't define any database tables at the right time, uh, definitely, uh, uh, or if the database table not already exists, right? So the definitely the RAP framework is going to rise an error, correct? So yeah, basically this is what the two main implementation methods. So when you have already existing project and you want to uh, uh, utilize or you want to uh, reuse the same, you could uh, go with the uh, unmanaged scenarios. On the other hand, if you have or if you want to create some new projects or POCs or something, you can go with the managed scenarios or simply. Yeah. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.